Well, I made it to the flea market again on Sunday. And uh, Sean from wifflegames.com was there. And quite a while ago, he had um, this mass vehicle at the flea market, the Scorpion, which is a Pontiac GTO. And I missed it. I got there a little late because I worked that morning. And he told me, he described the car, the orange car, and then I says, I know that one, it was the GTO. And anyways, he would sold it to someone. And then the following week, I picked up a few figures off him. And one of them was uh, this guy here. This is Bruno Shepard. A rough looking dude, that boy. And then uh, yesterday, he had this again the uh, Scorpion. Pontiac GTO, big blower on the hood there. Interior, steering wheel, T roof, trunk opens. Got a chain affair here. I believe there's some stuff that should go on it that I don't have, but it don't matter. I like displaying these cars as cars anyway. I don't. Uh, I don't usually transform them and leave them. M dog on the license plate. Bruno's even got uh, one of his hands opened up. So when he sits in the car, he can, uh, one on the steering wheel and the other one over on the gear shift. It's kind of neat. There he is, looking happy. Not really. When I bought this, um, Sean pointed out this shaft that runs through to the full length of the vehicle was all rusty. And um, I mentioned 3 in 1 oil, which I did apply to it and kept trying to get the car to pop up into its into its other mode, but it uh, kept uh, failing. But eventually, after letting it soak for quite a while, it uh, finally worked. That blower keeps spinning around. It's so loose. Anyways, pull this front end out. There we go. Here you got the tank treads. Wheels pop up. They each have one of these uh, proton lasers, I believe they call them. This thing is missing the uh, chrome pipes, the exhaust, the Laker pipes, I guess they would be, on each side, which uh, adjust up to a firing position. We've got little 
plastic wheels here that it rolls on. And there's this uh, piece here. Goes in front of the windshield. And it should have a gun that mounts there, which I don't have. But um, it's not a big deal. Like I said, I usually keep the vehicles in vehicle mode. I like them better. There we go, that locks down pretty good. And we're back in the GTO mode. Pretty cool car. Anyways, I really appreciated getting it. I think Mask is one of the best toy lines ever, personally. And what else did I get from Sean? I got a matchbox, king size, shovel nose. I don't know if you remember my uh, garage sale find last summer when I first came back out here. A couple of bucks for that one. And that was the first version of the shovel nose. This is basically the same car. They call this one the uh, Blaze Chaser, I believe. Anyways, I like this style. It reminds me of Thunderbirds, Captain Scarlet, any of those Jerry Anderson shows. Nice yellow interior, white steering wheel. Got some nice detail though. Got some metal horns on the roof there. Blue dome lights. Stickers are, that one's a little bit worn. That one's almost perfect. And the Fire Chief one is good. Matchbox Speed Kings. K3240. Shovel Nose. Made in England. Copyright 1971. Lesney Products and Company Limited. That's the trailer that I uh, display that yellow shovel nose on. I don't know about a fire chief car though. Anyways, now I got two of these shovel noses. I think there's a couple more I need. But um, I really like them. So that was another nice find yesterday. Here's the final item I uh, purchased from Sean from Wiffle Games. And it's a Tonka forklift. Something I've never seen before. It's a 
pretty big unit. I'll get one of these old Tonka trucks and stick it beside it so you can see the scale. And then I'm going to wash this thing up and uh, show you how she looks. There's, a, there's an old dump truck give you a, an idea of the size. Really cool machine and a front end loader. Here's a forklift cleaned up pretty good. I like this. I like the articulation here. It's nice that it's still got the Tonka sticker too. And on the other side. A little bit of fading on it. These front uh, wheels are faded. The rear ones have got a, still got a nice orange hue to them, but how many times have you driven by a yard? Well, not so much lately maybe, but in years past and seen Tonka toys sitting out there in the weather. They always seem to sit outside. Kids would never, well they're usually too dirty to bring in I guess. And it's missing a steering wheel here. No big deal. If I ever find a real junk piece of uh, Tonka, just pull the steering wheel off it if it's still got it. These forks here are adjustable for width. Kind of cool. This crank here. There we go. Wind this. Winds the forks up. And there we go, right to the top. These are plastic too, or this screw and everything's plastic, so I'm sure a lot of them busted along the way. And the forks are plastic, I'm surprised they're there. They're all in one piece. Kind of kind of neat. There's the engine inside there. It's a good heavy toy that one. Glad I picked it up and I'm glad Sean came to the uh, flea market Sunday. And his site is wifflegames.com. I'll post that again. I've posted it before on my site, so I'll post it on this video. And I hope you enjoyed my reviews today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.